Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 57. Boy, i got to be doing these shows more often. I can't remember the number. Anyway, today I was going to do a review of a little preamplifier I have for scanners, scanner radios. But in preparing for this video, I don't think it works. At least I hope it doesn't. Now, I don't ever remember it working very well to begin with. It was like, yeah, it was marginally better, but not a big increase in sensitivity on my scanners. I've had this for, gosh, probably eight or nine years. Um, it's made by GRE, and it's just a little preamp fire uh, in this case, and it's run off of a 9-volt battery, which you have to take the cover off to put the battery in. And the only, uh, it has two buttons, basically. It has an on-off switch and an LED indicator, which does come on. So I would think it is working, but I'll get to that in a minute. And then on the other side, it has, whoops, a little potentiometer for increasing the gain. Um, and the thing to keep in mind with something like this, uh, a preamplifier, it's going to amplify not only the noise and the signal you want, so that you're going to get that extra noise too. So that's a little drawback. Now, it does have a series of filters, and it's good for... 100 megahertz to 1 gigahertz, which means that those filters, theoretically, will filter out anything below 100 megahertz or the FM band, for instance, or most of the FM band. So that will be a help, too. Anyway, um, it's still available. You can still buy this. And I think it's either $39 or $49, depending where you get it. Or if you get it off of uh, eBay, you might be able to get it cheaper. And basically what you do is you take off your rubber duck, or if you've got an external antenna, you take that off. And you connect this to your scanner antenna, which I've already put in the other room. And... Uh, and then you hook the antenna back up that you had on there, either rubber duck or external antenna. And this goes in between the antenna and the scanner. Now you can use this um, on any radio in that that works in that band. You can use it on a tabletop scanner. Or you can use it, what it was designed for is a portable scanner. Now keep in mind... Um, oh, hold on a second. Stand by. <clears throat> Sorry for the delay. Anyway, here's my scanner. And what you would do is you would take your scanner rubber duck antenna off and then... You would plug this into that, into your radio, and then your antenna on top of that. So that's how it would work. And then you'd use this switch to turn it on. And uh, when it's turned off, it's supposed to bypass all the circuitry in this box. So it's just like having the antenna directly connected. And of course, uh, we know that any time you add extra connectors in your s signal coming in, 
it's going to attenuate the signal. So by adding these, this extra connector, um, actually it's two connectors, you're going to have some signal loss there. And like I said, I did some testing or tried to do some testing before this presentation and I couldn't see any difference. I What I attempted to do was um, I have uh, programmed into the scanner um, Hillsborough County Sheriff and that's quite a ways, it's across Tampa Bay, so it's quite a ways from me and typically on my portable with this antenna, which is an 800 megahertz antenna, I can't get Tampa or Hillsborough County. I can't get Hillsborough County. I occasionally get it if I'm out. Occasionally. Um, so I thought, well, that might be, and it's right on the edge. So I thought that might be a good test that if this little guy is doing his job, then it would pull in uh, Hillsborough County for me. Well, it didn't. So I was disappointed. Then I tried another test where I tried using the weather channels, which you just push this button and it scans through all the weather channel frequencies, no weather channels, and to see if it would pick up any additional channels uh, with the amplifier on and in place. And it didn't. It, matter of fact, the results was no different with or without the um, amplifier on. So, um, kind of disappointed. The thing is, and I almost didn't do this review, is that I'm not positive that this thing still works. And the reason I say that is because um, what it has in it besides the filtering circuit it's got an FET amplifier. And you know anything about FET amplifiers, they're very sensitive. And if you get like a static charge or something on that, kaboom, it's blown and it doesn't work anymore. And I know because I've got a, a Tintec um, radio, it's an RX320, and I've blown the front end FET amplifiers in that thing at least twice and maybe three times. Uh, and it's not gotten hit by lightning or anything. It's just the static charge on the antenna, I guess, is blowing it. There's no protection to that fed amplifier. So that might be the case on this baby. It might be blown. Even though the little light comes on, which, of course, the light comes on because the uh, battery is um, connected right to the light, and so it's kind of misleading. It's not really telling you it's working or not. So anyway, that's my uh, review for today. As I said, this is a GRE, uh, it's called a super amplifier. Um, it says the gain is 0 to 20 dB, which is typical of those fed amplifiers. And I know on my um, Tintec radio, when that FET goes out, that radio goes deaf. You can tell it. And when your FET's working or being replaced, you can tell it because that's a super little radio. So I'm guessing that might be the case of this guy. So if any of you has one of these, and has experience with it, please leave me a comment or send me an email about your experience. Whether you've seen it, basically it doesn't seem to do anything, or you've seen it actually, it works good. Now, like I say, from the start, I never saw a big increase, so I kind of just, since it you know, it's kind of bulky on your radio, and it kind of scares me. It could break your your connect your antenna connection off. I just put it away and said, "To heck with it. I haven't used it eight or nine years." But I thought I'd drag it out and tell you about it, um, and hopefully somebody will respond 
that has some information about their experience with it and whether it was good or bad. Okay, that's the uh, show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.